Hey gang, welcome back. Okay, so now that we've kind of done a little introduction as far as, uh, you know, how amines are achiral and when they're bonded to four different things, as well as looked at uh, acid-base tendencies and, you know, hydrogen bonding properties, it's time to get in to, uh, you know, looking at some, you know, strategies and reactions of actually making amines, right? All right, so I'm going to keep a little tally over here, but our first step is going to be how to make amines through alkylation, okay? So I'm going to do like a kind of a simple example just to kind of uh, illustrate it and then I'll kind of do like a complete the reaction type thing to kind of see how you might, you know, uh, encounter a question like this. Okay, so I'm going to start off with ammonia, right? Because we said that from ammonia, right, if we had an, you know, an alkyl group, right, I'm just going to use a CH3, you know, we'd have this amine, right, that would be primary. If we add a second methyl group with an NH, right? That would be a secondary amine. Add another methyl group. This would be tertiary. And we could even add one more to make this, whoa, quaternary. But if this was a little confusing, I'm going to show you this mechanistically. Okay. So, Let's just say we have ammonia, and I give you a reaction arrow, and I give you CH3Br, right? Let's say we have methyl bromide, and in the presence of ammonia, what happens, right? Well, if I gave you this in S, or if I gave you this in OCHEM one, I'm sure your thought process would go like this: Oh, this is a methyl substrate. Br minus would be a good leaving group. Let's do SN2. Attack the partially positive carbon. Backside attack, dump the electrons on bromine. So it would look like this. We have uh, CH3 now bonded to nitrogen with three hydrogens, right? Nitrogen now has a positive charge. Bromine would have a minus charge, right? That would be kind of like the first attack, right? Now you can just assume I don't know, maybe this Br- minus picks up one of these hydrogens, maybe another NH3 comes over and picks up a hydrogen, but for all intents and purposes, I'm going to erase this Br-. minus. You can just assume, I'll just use another ammonia, you can just assume that somebody is going to come over, grab this hydrogen, grab a hydrogen, and eliminate the positive charge on this nitrogen. Draw an arrow to now take us over here. So think about what we just did. Now, we have eliminated the positive charge on this nitrogen. We now went from having ammonia to a primary amine. Yes? Hopefully that made sense. Okay. Now, here's the thing. If you have enough of methyl bromide or whatever substrate you're kind of dumping into your reaction, let's do SN2 again. CH3, Br. I'm going to use different arrows, otherwise it's going to look black, all black. Okay, remember, nitrogen will attack from behind, I'm going to dump electrons on a bromine. I will draw the result of this, so we'll have a CH3 to the nitrogen, another CH3 on the nitrogen, and remember, two hydrogens. And remember, nitrogen just donated an electron pair to make a bond, he now has a positive charge. Again, something is going to pick up one of these hydrogens to eliminate that positive charge on nitrogen. Nitrogen is electronegative. He does not like positive charge, right? So let's just use another ammonia. Sorry. We're going to take this. This ammonia is going to grab H, dump electrons on a nitrogen. So this is what we have now, right? This is now a secondary amine. Let's do it again. CH3, ER, right? And we're just going to attack in an SN2 fashion again. So now I'm going to skip this cleanup step, right? I'm just going to assume we're going to pick off this proton at the end, right? So now, assuming we'll eliminate that charge, 
will have a tertiary amine, right? CH3, CH3, CH3. Sorry, that's an ugly C. Tertiary amine. Guys, if you have enough substrate, this nitrogen, even if it starts out from just plain old ammonia, will go all the way and it will attack itself to ammo like an ammonia salt. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Let's attack. Electrons go on a bromine. So now, I'm just going to not draw the CH4s, or CH3s, right? This nitrogen has a positive charge, and it has no hydrogens to get picked off and dumped back on it to eliminate that charge. So here's what we're kind of stuck with, right? If you have enough substrate, even if you start out with ammonia, you're going to do SN2 all the way to this salt. So usually, you would see excess next to this, and that's your cue to, ah, I need to do SN2 enough times to go all the way to this salt. But you can see, right, if you just have one equivalent of this, you can make a primary amine, right? Attack once, end up as a primary amine. Maybe double the amount. Oh, that would take me to a secondary amine. Three equivalents of this stuff? Oh, that would take me to a tertiary amine, right? So you can see how you can manipulate, uh, just starting out with ammonia, you can make a wide variety of amines. Primary all the way up until this ammonium salt. Okay. So basically, this is alkylation, right? You pick a substrate, you do SN2, right? It doesn't mean you don't have to start out with ammonia, but you, can, you have to start out with some amine. Let me erase this, and then we'll talk about our next strategy. So the next strategy we're going to talk about is we can make amines from doing a reduction of a nitrile. So we've worked with nitriles before, right? A nitrile is some group, blah, 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 and we see this CN, right? we see this carbon that is triple bonded to a nitrogen, right? Okay, so let me just erase this real quick. I'm gonna go through a tiny sample reaction. I'm not gonna go through the mechanism because to be honest guys, I've only seen this in the capacity of a complete the reaction question. So I, we already have so much information floating around. We don't need to do it. Plus when I throw it up here, I think you'll kind of, you could guess how it's going to go. Okay, doke. Let me just do this real quick. Throw up this structure. All right, let's say we had this nitrile group coming off this benzene ring and this carbon. If you were, right, we need to do a reduction, right? What's our strongest, most aggressive reducing agent? LAH, right? Lithium aluminum hydride. If you throw in some LAH, which remember, if we see LAH, we know that's cool slang for lithium aluminum hydride, right? If we have a first step of lithium aluminum hydride by, uh, followed by acidic workup, right? Either H3O plus or H plus, I'm telling you that this carbon, this CN, this nitrile, is going to turn into an amine. So be careful, don't lose carbons here, right? Off the ring, we have one, two carbons, right? So one, two, one, two, sorry, one, two, and then what would turn into our NH2, right? So it's, it's good to note this asterisk carbon right here is this guy right there. So here's the beauty. You can go through this way, right, with LAH or H3O+, plus, or if we take the same compound, sorry, do that kind of funky, these are our equivalent reagents I'm about to use. If we use a throwback, if we use our H2 PDC, it accomplishes the same effect, right? This will reduce our nitrile, this will reduce our nitrile. So you will make the same exact product. So just know, two ways you can reduce a nitrile to make an amine, LAH with H3O plus of a nitrile, or H2 PDC of a nitrile. Okay. We're going to go over one more strategy, and then this video is over. So the last thing we're going to talk about, sorry, I forgot to erase that. The last thing we're going to talk about on how to make amines is we can not only just do a reduction of a nitrile, but if we do a, a reduction of an N3 group, that also produces an amine. 
So let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's just say I gave you just this ethyl chloride uh, you know, reactant, right? Throw back to OCHEM 1. Remember that N3- minus is a good nucleophile, right? So if we had this primary substrate attached to a good leaving group, N3 would come in and do SN2, right? So in a way, just by the first step of this reaction, we would have this uh, type of intermediate going on, right? Well, again, right, we have to do a reduction, right? This is what's going on. If we do a second step of LAH followed by acidic workup, right, H3O plus following our LAH, that takes this N3 group and morphs it into an amine, right? So if you kind of want to think about it, right, we do SN2 with this N3 minus with this azide ion, then we do a reduction with LAH and workup, this is the amine we would get. Oops. Right? Which is kind of cool because if you think about it, this is almost, it's almost identical and parallel to a reduction of a nitrile. Because let's look at this. What if I gave you the exact same starting material, this ethyl chloride, and I said, okay, we saw how we can do this with azide ion. I want you to do it with a nitrile instead. Well, what if we just did this? You know, throw in some CN minus, and then you pretty much have your pick from there, right? We could also use LAH followed by acidic workup, or you could even use H2PDC. Just know that this would also get you, oh, hold on, sorry, sorry, sorry. Think about this. This keeps your carbon chain at two. This would actually lengthen our carbon chain by one because after this first step, we would have this one, two, three carbons, right? So this would be one, two, three, and then your mean. So consider, you know, our options. You can do alkylation, just have some amine or ammonia do SN2. You could do a reduction of a nitrile where, you know, you'll probably have to stick on your nitrile through SN2 and then do a reduction with either LAH or H2PDC. Or you can, and, and remember, this lengthens your carbon chain by one carbon. Right, this carbon is now that carbon. Or if you want to keep your carbon chain the same, use N3- as your nucleophile instead. Right, that's what that look like. And then reduce it with LAH. Okay guys, we have three videos left. It's three mean reactions, they're not that bad. Let's get after it.